and welcome to my video and if you are new my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel um I'm so excited that you could be here today we have something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and that's I created my own tag <laughs> So come along to see what questions we have in store. So yes, today we are going to be doing a tag that I created. I came up with the questions. I edited the questions multiple times to try and come up with the best questions possible. If you did not see the thumbnail or the name of this video, I'm going to be doing the show me your grails tag today. Um, this was one that I've been wanting to do for a while. It was an idea I came up with literally months ago. <laughs> And um, it took me a while to edit the questions to something that I felt like was generalized enough that it could be, you know, any collection, not just what I'm going to be doing, which is my lounge fly bags. So yes, if you want to do this tag, please, I encourage it. Do it for whatever collection you have. If you have Funko Pops, do Funko Pops. If you have ears, do ears. If you have uh, pins, I think this would be a great tag for pins. Um, but whatever you collect, you can definitely fit into these eight questions. And I'm just so excited to show you guys all of the bags that I picked out for this tag. So let's get started. So starting with question number one, and I think it's an obvious one. It's your original grail, aka the item or bag that got you into collecting. So for me, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, but I got my first launch my bag in 2019. I saw this bag came out and like everybody was opening it here on YouTube. Um, and I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to have that. And I um, ordered it from Shop Disney. And you know, with Shop Disney, you can't pick pattern placement, but I think I got a pretty great one. And it is this Park Icon bags. So yes, this was the first bag that I ever got. I just fell in love with this bag from all of the videos that I saw and I'm like pretty amazed at how good the placement I got was for me personally because not only do I have the hat box ghost on the front I have the Mickey balloons which I love on the sides I have a full small world clock face and on the other side I have a full teacups chiro and a Mickey hat amazing and then on the front i also have a castle space mountain another churro another mickey pretzel like and the pirates uh not ghost face <laughs> skeleton face okay sorry about this light angle change to what i was saying um but yeah the pattern placement i got for this was amazing and the interior lining is simple but like i just feel like it complements it so well it reminds me of the dapper dans on main street which i feel like this is very main street Disneyland, Magic Kingdom-esque, and I just love this bag. And it was my first bag, aka my original grill. <laughs> my second question is in a similar vein, but is slightly different. This is going to be your first grail you ever bought. Now, what I mean by this and why this is slightly different is the first bag that you saw, but it was a little harder to get, um, and you were eventually able to get it. For me, this is my Kylo Ren cosplay bag. So this one um, came out in maybe 2019 as well. I don't know. But um, this was the first bag that like had sold out and I could not get it for retail or below retail because when I first started collecting, I was able to get most things below retail. Um, but eventually it restocked on 707th Street and I was able to get it for retail and I was so excited because it was selling for like over a hundred dollars and this was originally a 75 dollar bag so i was like i'm not i'm not paying a hundred dollars for this but um this is a gorgeous bag i love this bag i have not used it yet because i have another kylo ren ray bag that i like a little bit better for use this one i love for display but that one i really like for use um which if you want to see it i will link my star wars lounge by collection video but up in the yes i was so 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 excited to finally get this bag because i think it's such a stunning bag and kylo ren is my favorite character kylo ren and ray are my two favorite characters from star wars all together um i also love the ewoks too but I think they they take the cake just a little bit more um so yes i was so excited to finally get this one and so this one it was my first grail i Next ever bought question is a grail from your favorite movie now if you don't know even though my background is currently little mermaid themed my favorite movie is tangled 
and I have a pretty great grail from Tangle to show you guys. I, and it is the Pascal in Dress um, Funko Con, I think is what it was, or was it? Oh, no, no, no. It just says Summer Convention 2021 bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. <laughs> I'm going to drop it. Um, the details on here are just incredible. I feel like I show this bag way too much, but it is a gorgeous bag that needs to be shown. This was another one that I was able to get for retail um, because this was like my peak collecting time. And I remember I woke up super, I'm not super early, early for, for me. Um, I think it like dropped at either 7 or 8 a.m. if I remember correctly. Um, and I was able to get it, I think, directly from Loungefly, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe Box Lunch. I don't remember. But I was so excited to get this. The details on it, like these are real grommets with like real, um, real ribbon in it and all of this like lace on it. And yes, I love this bag. It's definitely one of my favorites in my entire collection, if not maybe my favorite maybe I don't know but this one is definitely up there and I just love oh I didn't even notice that before but there's even detailing under the ribbon I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that uh, yeah kind of you can kind of see it but yeah it just there's so many details to this this is one that I probably will honestly never use because it is one of my higher priced bags and it's also one of my all-time favorites and so this is more of a display piece. I do have bags that are specifically display pieces and ones that I use. So yes, this was my grail for my favorite movie. Moving on to question number four, <laughs> we have your most recent grail acquisition. This, this is my Luna Love Good bag. This is my most recent purchase as of filming this video. Um, and I have made several shorts about her um, recently. If you want to go see those, I will also link my shorts playlist up above <laughs> if you want to go watch it. But this one is just a stunning bag. I love the details of this one. I love like I Luna is my favorite character. I'm a Ravenclaw, if you did not know. Well, I'm I'm a, a Raven Puff or a Huffle Claw, whatever you want to call it. I'm kind of a mixture of the two. But, you know, the Sorting Hat takes into account what you want. And I personally want to be a Ravenclaw. Um, but I love Luna. Luna is by far my favorite character from the entire series. Um, and I just love... second. My second favorite is Neville, by the way, in case you were curious. But Luna is definitely my favorite. I think she's a lot of people's favorites, which is why this bag is actually already sold out. I'm sure they're going to do a restock. I would be surprised if they didn't do a restock. But I was on the site right when it dropped and I was like, this is this was my grail. This was one that I was looking for because um, it originally dropped in uh, France, I think, and I wasn't able to get it then. And then when I saw it was coming to 707 Street, I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> but anyway, some details on this bag. You can see it's like fully embroidered, which I love. The only thing is that um, her the texture of her sweater is like printed on and I kind of wish they had done something like texturally wise to give it a little bit more depth if you know what I mean. And then we have this beautiful zipper pull that is of her Patronus. Yeah, it's a Patronus. And my favorite thing, the hardware is this like coppery color. I just love the like combination of like coppery, coppery kind of colors and blue in this navy blue. It's so gorgeous. Um, it also has that like fresh <laughs> lounge fly smell, if you know what I mean. Um, and then the back has a quote from Luna and also her glasses. And this is my first ever Harry Potter lounge fly. I don't in general collect Harry Potter as heavily as I collect Disney. I do like it. Um, I just sometimes don't love all of the merch or all of the bags, I should say, that come out. Um, sometimes I'm not a huge chibi person and I feel like a lot of the bags are chibis. Um, and, uh, one just really hasn't called to me like the way that it has for this one. And for a really long time, I was like, no, I'm not going to collect anything except for Disney. And I had to make an exception for Luna. I had to. Come on. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. 
this is a bunch of icons of Luna and Luna herself, which I think is so adorable. Yes. But yeah, this is my most recent grail acquisition. So up next is a grail that you looked for for the longest time. So this one is my Big Thunder Mountain Minnie's Main Attraction Bag. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> but yes, this is the bag that I looked for pretty much since it was announced and I missed it or uh, released and I missed it. Um, I don't remember why I didn't buy it when it was announced. I think I was like trying to slow down and collecting, but then it became like my ultimate grail and I was finally able to get it earlier this year in February. Um, I was able to get it from a lovely um, woman on <laughs> a Facebook group and she actually sold it to me for below retail. It was used. FYI, and this is one that I do plan on using. Um, it was used, I think I bought it for I want to say $65. And I did um I did uh what is it called? Door pickup. Like <laughs> I so I didn't have to pay for shipping, basically. But yes, I was so excited to see it for under a hundred. I try and avoid spending over a hundred dollars on bags if possible. There is a few times that um I have gone like slightly like five dollars over um and I don't count shipping in that by the way because like nowadays with bags like being 95 dollars retail it's kind of hard not to spend over a hundred dollars with shipping and everything but for this one I was so excited because this one used to it's gone down in price significantly but this one in particular used to go for like two hundred dollars and I was not gonna spend that <laughs> so I was really excited to get this for below retail or retail um and I also just FYI it did not come with these I made these myself out of a piece of styrofoam that I had but this yes this is my uh, look the bag that I looked for for the longest time <laughs> I keep singing the for the longest time song in my head so <laughs> anyway moving on next up we have question six which is a bag that is the most expensive um in your collection either in the cost you paid or in its current value for me i chose the cost i paid like i said i try to avoid spending over a hundred dollars on a bag but this bag i had picked up from the parks and i think it originally actually it might have the price on it it was 85 dollars and um i had it picked up from the parks and i think with shipping and everything it was around 130 which is kind of a big price bump but that was pretty much what it was going for online at the time it has again come down in price now of course i feel like all of these bags have come down in price but this one in particular also has, I had this uh, picked up. Dis Family Adventures here on YouTube. I had to think about it for a second. Um, I will link their pickup page down below if you are interested. They are amazing. Kept me updated. They, they were amazing to work with. I highly recommend them if you are looking for a pickup person. But with that being said, let me show you the bag that I had picked up. It is the Minnie Mouse Safari bag. So yes, I went to Disney World and they were completely sold out of this bag. And then they had a restock. They've had multiple restocks now. I believe it's still available in Disney World. It might even be available in Disneyland. I don't know. Um, but it was actually available the last time I went. But, you know, I had already bought it. So, whatever. But yes, this is the bag that I spent the most amount of money on in my collection. Um, and I, I feel like partially I don't feel that bad about it because I was supporting a YouTuber and a family who does pickups. So it wasn't like... I, I don't feel like I don't feel bad <laughs> about spending that much money if that makes sense but with that being said um this is the bag I love this bag um I think it's such a gorgeous bag I have not used it yet but the next time I go to Animal Kingdom I do plan on taking it and I think that this one will be my Animal Kingdom bag because it's just such a gorgeous bag this is one of my top favorite bags as well um i just think this bag is so creative and so fun and so unique too and i love it i love um mini mouse like cosplay bags i have a lot of them um i have a a small ish mini mouse slash mickey mouse collection and this one is definitely probably my favorite <laughs> um but i just think it's such a gorgeous bag it has a zipper on the front and one of my favorite things this is a real buckle guys a real buckle which i just i just love um but yes, I find this bag just so gorgeous. It is the one that I paid the most amount of money for 
in my collection and down to it guys two more questions left we have question number seven which is a grail that i could never part with you guys this one i don't know if it i i just i really love this bag i don't know if i would say it's like my favorite bag in my collection but i think it's one that just is so fitting for me and i just love it so much that it's the one that i could not sell it would probably be the bag that i kept and that is <laughs> this hercules and meg bag if you don't know what scene this is from it's from the i won't say love scene from hercules i love this um i love this song i love this movie i love everything about it um and i feel like it just screams me <laughs> to me um meg is one of my favorite heroines i guess you could say she's not a princess but one of my favorite disney ladies <laughs> um and i love the movie hercules i've loved the movie hercules for years it's consistently been one of my favorites i love the muses as well which they are on the front pocket if you can see that and one of my favorite details is it actually has the flower that she's holding throughout the scene as a zipper pull I love specialty zipper pulls. They're just like my favorite detail that Lounge Fly does. And especially small details like that. It's just amazing. But yeah, the reason why I feel like I could not part with this one is because one, I feel like it's a very usable bag. This is like my favorite type of handle for use and my favorite style of bag for use. And it's my favorite song, my favorite Disney song of all time. One of my favorite Disney movies of all time. And it's just a practical bag but also a bag that i love so so gosh darn much and i just love it i love it too it has side pockets i just i love it and i don't think i could ever get rid of it i think if i were to you know sell my entire collection there are definitely bags other bags in this video that i would want to keep but i most likely would just sell um this one is also not super valuable for being completely honest so like i would not feel bad about keeping it if that makes sense so yeah this is a pack that i could never part with just couldn't do it <laughs> all right guys so we are to our final question and this final question is your current iso grail or a bag or item that you wish existed okay so i have a, a couple like grails that i i've wanted for a really long time one of them is the make it pink make it blue bag um which is gorgeous but it goes for a lot of money that i'm not i'm not willing to pay that much money i'm just not um another one is the ghost host bag i really love that one and once again not willing to pay that much money for a bag unfortunately but there are a few bags that I definitely want them to make. And I'm, I think I'm actually going to make a video about the bags that I wish Loungefly would make. But the number one bag that I want Loungefly to make more than anything is a Maximus bag. I would love a Maximus bag. I just, I feel like a lot of times the Tangled bags are not my favorite. That's why I have so few, even though Tangled is one of my favorite movies i mean it is my favorite movie <laughs> um but it, it's just i just in general i'm not a huge fan of their bags but i would love love a maximus um cosplay and it's kind of shocking that we haven't had one yet because i feel like so many other underrated characters have been getting cosplays um but no maximus yet and i really want a maximus one um i would also love like a disney horses aop bag i think that would also be really cool um there's a lot of other bags that i think that they should do but my number one that i want them to do is the uh, maximus bag and those other two are like my top top grails that i probably will never buy because they are just so much money and i'm just not willing to pay that much money for a bag unfortunately but yeah those are my iso grails and a bag. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you want to do this tag as well, um, I will leave all of the questions linked down below for you guys. Um, well, not linked. I will leave them down below for you guys. And I hope someone does this tag. I would love it to see you guys do this tag. And when you do, please tag me. Please, please tag me so I can see it um, because I would love to love 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 to see it um i'm not gonna tag anyone in particular i'm just gonna tag 
everybody who wants to do this tag. If you are a lounge fly collector, if you're a pin collector, if you're a Funko collector, if you're just a general collector, show me your grails. <laughs> um, I would love to see it. Um, but yes, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first ever tag created by me video. Um, I, I again, tag me if you do it. Tag me if you do it. Um, uh, and subscribe down below if you want to see more from me. I do have another sneak peek. I do have another grail or not grail, another tag video coming out. And I actually have already posted a tag video as well. If you want to go see that, um, it was the most Disney tag from the Dauntys. I highly recommend that. I will leave it again, linked down below and up above. Um, I need to remember all of the things that I promised <laughs> to link in this video. Um, but yeah, if you, again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below, give it a like, tell me com in the comments down below if you have any of these bags or if there are any bags you are looking for or answer any of the questions that like stuck out to you. If you don't have a YouTube channel, I would still love to hear your guys' answers. Um, but yeah, just, just let me know anything, anything you want to tell me. <laughs> um, and once again, thank you guys so much for watching and now it's time to say goodbye. Bye!